Hello guys, and welcome to my first Minecraft series. This will be a Mind Z playthrough. Sorry if my throat, if my voice is a little bad sounding. I have a bit of a sore throat, tickle in the back of my throat that I can't seem to get rid of, no matter what I do. So yeah, we'll get into this. As you can see, there are tons of Minecraft servers. I have a premium member, meaning I paid for access to private servers, settlement beta, which is probably what I'm going to be doing. This right now is in beta only for on the private servers. It's uh, not available on public servers yet. It will be a couple of weeks, maybe in the new year, as I'm recording this of the 28th. It is only on three servers, uh, private one, two, and four, because private three is a player versus environment only server. <coughs> um, I'm going to be going over some of the basics for people that don't know MindZ. Um, this is the area for where they place the skins for Obsidian members, which are premium members that have donated over, I think, 250 or 500 bucks. Really awesome. Um, so cycle clockwise. So food is very important, as each piece of food, each piece of food restores one half heart, and regen from the full hunger bar is disabled. It's hard to find food, so it should be your number one priority. Um, I personally have my own rating system for food, um, whereas apples are the worst because one, one little square only heals two hunger. Next uh, best, next, the next one would be bread, which you never want to use your wheat to make bread unless you absolutely are going to die, die of starving. Because it only uh, heals two and a half hunger. Next best would be the melons here because the melons stack in groups of four and each one heals one each one heals one which is um <coughs> means it heals four next best would probably be a cake for some reason either this is in a recent update or just on the server cakes only heal five so you place the cake down you hit it five times you get five hunger and uh probably if I'm, unless i'm missing any other ones the best one you can have are cookies, which are really useful. You just need to take, let's use this example, you need one cocoa and two wheat. That makes a stack of eight. Cookies only stack up to eight, so then they heal eight. Yeah, apples don't stack, neither bread. Zombies and players make this world very dangerous. You're going to need to find gear so you can face the threats around you and have a chance to survive. The three types of armor are the leather. You spawn with one left half health leather chest plate, that's all you, all the armor you spawn with. You can find chainmail and iron. You go up in rarity, you end up finding lots of chainmail down south of the map. <clears throat> Snowballs will save your life. Use them to distract zombies so you can make your escape to a horde towards your worst enemy. Basically when you throw a snowball, zombies will, any zombie in your area will go towards it. If you throw it at a person, not only will it knock them back, but it will attract zombies to them. Headshots do more damage to a zombie, however, arrows can be hard to come by, so be sure to aim true. Arrows are limited to 15 in a stack. Yeah, bows can be difficult to find. Health potions are most the most effective way to get health. They are only found in a few places near the coast. Stock up before you head into the dangerous north. Yeah, you can find health, different health potions, mostly in a, a church of a town or something. Yeah, um, I'm just going to message to one of my friends. Diamond got your attention. Inventory management is vital for your survival. Most items do not stack. You won't be finding any of these beauties out there. Yeah, you can't really get diamonds, even though you can mine ores in this beta. Rumors of disease that is contracted by zombie bite have spread through, though no one has confirmed. It is rumored that it is believed milk is the only cure. Yeah, basically either eating rotten flesh or being attacked by zombie you can gain nausea which will slowly hurt you after a while and the only way you can cure it is either this or getting someone else to heal you with antibiotics which I'll explain over there enderpearl <laughs> enderpearls act as grenades throwing one will cause it to explode on impact be cautious as the sound of the explosion will attract zombies to your location basically 
It'll explode, deal, even if someone has full iron armor, it'll still deal three full hearts of damage. But every zombie within a hundred block radius, so hundred blocks to the left, hundred blocks to the right, hundred blocks forward, hundred blocks back, will see you coming. We'll come for you. Yeah. Usually you can find, usually they're really rare to find, they're only found in mill rare chests, which are military rare chests. Okay, shears used to, ba okay. Basically, this is your healing stuff. You also get a bandage, which you, you can use to bandage other people up, which doesn't use it, which is good. It means you can heal people as much as you want. But they do have a cooldown of about four minutes. There's healing ointment. Shears use the bandage to heal others. Antibiotics. Basically, you want to right-click on someone with, or left-click on someone with bandages, left-click on them with either healing ointment or antibiotics, or both, and then left-click on them with shears, which will then sew it up. This is a new feature that's added recently. Some graves will look like this. It'll say, rest in peace, blah, blah, blah. There'll be one soul sand and then one rossy cobble. If you have an iron shovel, you can break this, break it up. I wouldn't advise it too much because the only things I've ever found, I've maybe done like 50 of these. I've only, the only thing I've found is zombies or nothing. Not very really useful. A soldier will probably save your life many times. Always handle it with the utmost respect. Yeah, you want to... A good main part of this um, mod server is you want to repair your items by putting them into the crafting square. So if you find two cobblestone swords, you want to put them together to make them more stronger. Uh, I'll just skip that for now. This is also a new feature. You, when If you find sugar, you eat it by right-clicking it. Um, temporary speed boost gives you 20 seconds of speed, but then gives you... 10 seconds of slow after. Um, take damage, you might start bleeding. While bleeding, you slowly take damage. Use bandages to stop the bleeding. Yeah, bandages are pieces of paper. Don't stack. If you are more than 250 meters from a player, then they can't hear, then you can't hear the So then you're typing in the normal type, type box. They don't hear it. Uh, yep. <clears throat> but if you're holding Ender Pearl, depending on which slot you're holding in, it's a different channel. It's pretty much like a cell phone. Or an iPhone. Terrible joke. This is an I. Yeah, you can talk to anyone else that is holding one. Zombies run faster, think smarter, hoard bigger, smell uglier, hit harder, and overall, they will kill you. Yeah, zombies, do you want to stay away from them? They run about as fast as you can sprint, and sprinting causes more of them. I'll explain more about the experience bar and the experience later. May oh yeah, mushroom stew is also equal with um watermelons because they both heal four per stack. May items have to be crafted. This includes the best types of food. However, crafting tables are not found everywhere. Make careful decisions on what you carry. For instance, I would rather carry a cocoa bean and two wheat, then carry two mushrooms in a bowl, because that'd be three stacks, and that'd be two stacks. Your ex okay, this is important. Your experience level, so that's the number that says 20 right now, is your current thirst level. Once that gets to zero, it'll, you'll start taking damage unless you drink water. Carry lots of water, you can die from dehydration. Usually, I'll keep this entire four blocks on the right side full of water bottles, which is quite good. It's If I'm at full and I have all those, I usually have about a hundred total then. Empty bottles, empty water bottles can be refilled from a water source. So just by right clicking it, fill it up. Your experience bar, so that's the, number that, that's the bar that just keeps going up. If I sprint, it go up. Is your visibility to zombies. Depending on how you move, you are more visible. Nighttime and rain lower your visibility slightly. So if it's during the night, this will be at 1 instead of 2. And you can almost, as long as the zombie's not looking directly at you, you can probably sneak by them pretty easily. Loot chests are the source of everything you will need for survival. They can be found in towns and ruins. Better loot can be found by heading towards the north. So yeah, you can get better chests north. Um, the way chests work is you can right-click them like you would a normal chest, and you can take the items, but then the chest will disappear, as that way it can random respawn quicker. Basically, but if someone's close by and you don't want to alert them that you're nearby, you can just punch it. It'll destroy the chest instantly and all the items will pop out. We can just pick them up. Did you know that Mindsy has 33 servers? And there's a website there. 
if you want to check it out. Weapons are found around the world. Wood and basic iron can be found near the coast, but the best gear is found heading into the dangerous northern part of the map. Yeah, you can also find stone swords. Diamond swords are incredibly hard to find. The only way I know of getting them is by killing a giant, which you need a lot of people to do. A hoe allows you to harvest wheat, melon, and mushrooms. So pretty much by punching it with the hoe, you can actually harvest them. Think about what buildings might have tools. Yeah, tools are useful, especially a pickaxe if you want to do the settlement mod. Using shovels to break cobwebs, cacti, and to dig up graves. Okay. I'll go back to the front now. Just Also, yeah, the only way you can get full visibility is if you're sprinting and jumping. And if you can hear that, that'd be my cat. Trying to get out. If I see a player that has a red name, that means they're a bandit, which means they've killed six or more people on their current life. If you see a green name, that means they are a healer, it means they've healed ten or more people during their current life. And that's a signal for me to stop my video. I'll see you guys next time when I actually start playing. This is pretty much just a how-to uh, video. There's also here is axe, you can crouch, and it'll uh, hit a lot of zombies. So yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe and also subscribe to Talk of Designs. He's gonna be my partner. He's gonna be making all of my thumbnails and backgrounds for my channel for the near, near and possibly distant future. Well, see you guys later. Bye.